Video Frame Skipping and Caching in Adobe Photoshop CS6. Photoshop uses RAM to preview videos in the document window. Frames are automatically cached during playback for faster viewing the next time they're played. Cached frames are indicated by the teal bar in the time ruler. When the line is solid, all the frames are cached and the video plays back smoothly in Photoshop. When there are breaks in the line, those are uncached frames, which Photoshop will skip on playback if needed to maintain the frame rate or to keep up with the audio. This is called frame skipping. To achieve a smooth playback, play the video once with the audio turned off. Click Mute Audio Playback. Ensure Allow Frame Skipping is off in the flyout. Click Play. This allows Photoshop to cache each frame. When everything is cached, you can turn the audio back on and play the cached portion of the timeline with both audio and the expected frame rate. At the bottom left of the timeline panel is the frame rate indicator. It shows the frames per second at which the document is set to play back. When playing a video in Photoshop, it shows the preview playback frame rate. The value turns red if the preview rate drops below the document's actual frame rate. When your system has reached the maximum number of frames it can cache, Photoshop will uncache the oldest cache frame in the timeline in order to cache the most recent. It can look as if the teal line is sliding down the timeline. In this case, it can be helpful to reduce your work area to just the section you want to view. The total number of frames that can be cached depends on the amount of RAM available to Photoshop. That's based on your computer's memory and the Photoshop performance settings. That's a detailed look into frame caching and frame skipping in Adobe Photoshop CS6.